Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and if you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and indie brands. Today's video is all about my BoxyCharm. All right, beauties, if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, this is a $25 monthly subscription where you are guaranteed five full-size products at a value of at least $125. I have always said that BoxyCharm, I feel like, is the best bang for the buck in the subscription box market. Also, you're going to notice that this is one of the only boxes I now have every single month to unbox for you guys. I also do not get any spoilers. Before we dive into the box and to our goodies, please don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like what you see. Subscribe down below if you have not yet, and turn on those post notifications, that bell right there, so that YouTube might notify you when I upload a new video. We are going to dive in. I do have on um, a little bit of a face so that we can kind of play with the products in the box. I will let you know what is on my face. And also my nails are Impress Gel Manicure. So the first thing I see, dang it, if I'd have known this was in here. <laughs> <laughs> is a pure 4-in-1 tinted moisturizer. Um, LG3, I guess, is the shade. And it says Broad Spectrum SPF of 20. Oh, I'm super excited to try this. Again, I already have foundation on my face, so uh, I'm not going to be able to try this today. Whoops. <laughs> but I'm very excited to have that. Next up, I see a... Oh, shoot, honey. Speaking my, speak my language. Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. How perfect does this sound? I do have my Crystal Bitch Lip Oil on right now. Let me take it off if I can find my towel. Hold, please. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go in with this, and we're going to test it out, and then we'll dive into the next product. Oh, very cute packaging. Looks nice and looks. I do like it. So Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask from Seraphine Botanicals. They are cruelty-free, and it says boost hydration and glow with this protective lip mask with apricot, jojoba, and rosehip oils. You guys, that is speaking my language, and it is safety sealed. Well, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Ooh, somebody got on my lips, and it smells so good already. All right, let's see the texture. Ooh. Okay, a little goes a long way. I got way, 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 way too much. It's more of an oil versus kind of a, like, thick lip mask. Oh, you guys. Mmm. That feels amazing and smells absolutely incredible. It does smell like apple. It smells like pureed apple. Mm. I'm putting that right here in my uh, use all the time stash. Next up, Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA's Pore Cleaning Toner with Moringa and Papaya. That sounds fantastic. I'm going to say right off tops, this feels incredibly, incredibly heavy. Look, if you're going to, sir, sir, if you're going to interrupt, you should say hello to the people. Say hello, beauties. No. Say hi, beauties. Rude. <laughs> oh, you guys. This is a frosted glass bottle. That would probably be why it is so uh, massive and heavy. I'm excited to use this. You guys know that I swear by toners. Um, I love pixie toners a whole, whole, whole lot. I've gone through several. It smells kind of herbally. Does it say what it, it says? Moringa and papaya. Yeah, it doesn't smell like papaya. Not to me. Hmm. It still smells good, though. And again, that packaging is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm almost completely out of my rose tonic and over half out of my collagen one. So I needed a new one. Awesome. I'm excited. So far, y'all. Is this going to be my favorite box of the year? And it's only January? I'm writing this down. <laughs> Next up is a... I have no idea... Does that say Queen? Cuvine Studios. Excuse me, guys. It is cruelty-free. It is a Dragon Duo eyeliner. Um, I guess a liquid eyeliner and something? <laughs> okay, Dragon Liner Liquid. And then a pencil. Oh, cool. Okay. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful packaging. So that is the liquid eyeliner. That is so pretty, you guys. I do want to see, is it a felt tip or a brush? Um, definitely a felt tip, which I don't mind. I think felt tips are definitely more um, kind of ease of use and beginner friendly. And then again, you have like the really pretty dragon design. And then it's just a black wax pencil, I guess. Ooh, it looks very, very black. Actually, let's go ahead and swatch that. It feels very creamy. 
Okay. One of my favorites has always been the L'Oreal Silkaseem and then the Araceli one we got in a BoxyCharm a long time ago. That is a fantastic, bulletproof, very black, um, very creamy eyeliner. So we'll test these out after we try the other thing in the box that I see. So I'm excited. I really like this. Do I use eyeliners all the time? No, but I still enjoy it nonetheless. Then I'm going to show you the last product. We'll talk deets and then we'll play with the last product because I think I'm going to like it. This is the Violet Voss All of You Forever. Y'all, yeah. it's green. You guys, I'm excited. I've been wanting the Juicy Olive. I cannot remember who makes it. JD Glow maybe or... I'll pop it up here. But I've been wanting the Juicy Olive palette for a long time. So hopefully this has the same color story. So again, Violet Voss. All of You Forever. Very pretty. It definitely has more mauve tones than I was kind of thinking it would have. Um, but there's a couple of greens, no matte green, and normally I would shun away and I would say, you know, you know what, we're not going to keep it, but I am going to try it. I'm excited to try it. Um, I will still pop the other one up because it's definitely way different from this. I do like the variation from light to dark. I feel like there are several shades that could be used for transition shades for different skin tones. Thank you. And I like the pop of the shimmers in here, so I'm excited. I'm going to go in with my Model Rock Eye Elixir Little Primer. And literally, you guys know from just kind of testing a palette, I do have the Holy Grail palette from Violet Voss, and I love it. Um, but I'm not aiming for a look. I'm literally just, you know, trying to see do they blend well, things like that. I do like the color story overall. And I like my box overall. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with Infatuated right here. And I'm just gonna go into just a little fluffy brush. Not much fallout at all. And the pickup onto the actual brush is really nice. I'm gonna use the, the palette this time. Ooh, okay. Already starting off with beautiful color payoff. Again, we're not trying to be here for three million years, but y'all know what I say. If this gets long, grab them tacos and tequila, honey your donuts, your coffee, whatever your preference, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Also, can I just say, considering I'm still waiting on giveaway packages to be delivered to beauties that I shipped December 15th, I am in utter disbelief that I have this BoxyCharm this early in the month. I have never, ever, ever <laughs> received my BoxyCharm this early in the month. Like, normally I am, you know, the last to post of, like, kind of all my YouTube friends here. And I'm sitting here like, hello, hi, can I finally get mine? Because, you know, I don't get spoilers, so I can't go watch anybody else until I get my own damn box. I think I want to play a little bit because I'm liking how this is looking thus far. I'm going to go into the shade Charmed. Same exact brush. And I'm going to pop this right here. And you guys know, you know, don't worry about the blending and things like that right now. It may look harsh. It may look intense. I always press my shadows into place first. And then I go in and kind of do all of my blending and making sure that everything is a nice gradient. That is beautiful. I need to bust out my Holy Grail palette. I know it's probably two years old, but it was my Holy Grail palette for a long time. Their formula is stunning. They have wonderful, wonderful pigmentation. I do like their shimmers as well. Typically, we'll see. I have not tried one of their palettes actually in a very long time. I'm sorry for their shower. Caleb is on lunch break, so he's trying to hurry up and get a shower because he has to work tonight. Can y'all look? Does anybody else freak out when their child is working? Like he's working now, he has, you know, he drives, all this kind of stuff. It freaks me out and makes me feel old. <laughs> I'm now going to go into the shade Wink, which is a beautiful kind of cool tone. It's coming up taupey on here, but in person it's very much kind of pinky mauve -y. I'm going to go into that again with a big fluffy brush. This is an It Cosmetics, the KER50W. And again, I'm pressing it in place. I'm not worried about any kind of blending or anything right now. Okay, this one is not really showing up or doing a whole lot. I'm going to go into the shade above it, Wishful, which is just slightly deeper than this. There we go. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go between both of them. I actually really like this color story a lot. I was expecting more. I mean, y'all know I am a green eyeshadow lover. Green eyeshadows, warm eyeshadows. Um, 
So yeah, I was expecting green. <laughs> All right, this one, I don't know if it's the way that I placed my primer, but it's looking a little patchy right there. I'm not really liking that. Everything else looks really, really good. So that's a little disappointing. Again, it, it honestly may be the primer. Maybe I didn't blend it out well enough. Maybe I didn't put, you know, less or more there than I put everywhere else. I'm taking my empty e.l.f. concealer brush. And now I'm going to go over the edges very lightly. Yeah, that shade just kind of dusted away. Nah, I don't like that at all. And again, it may, maybe I didn't put the primer up high enough. And then I'm going to lightly feather these together. Yeah, these shades are fine. I don't understand that. Hmm. I do also have a dry patch right here, so maybe that's what's going on. I think overall I'm going to say that I do like it. Yeah, I think the shadow is just not sticking right here. Of course, you guys will see it when I get up close. Otherwise, it looks nice. Um, I think I'm going to go into Lovebird right here. That's Lovebird right there. And it feels slightly more hard-pressed in here. But we're going to test her out. Oh, very pretty. Not super, super blinding, but that it doesn't always have to be. And then I'll save a little bit of space in here because we'll go in with this white one right here called Major Spotlight. You could also wet your brush. You could use a tiny flat brush to get in here. But because I have short nails, I always just use my fingers. But... Again, I'm just going to place it. Sorry that we got fuzzy there for a second, y'all. Yeah, I like that overall. I'm going to get a little tiny pencil brush. And I'm going to go into Major Spotlight, which is the white shimmer. And we're going to pop this in the very inner corner. And then I always feather up whatever shade I use here up onto the lid. I just like how it looks. Okay, yeah, definitely not the most kind of blinding or most pigmented. And those first matte shades that I used, I really, really like those. I like the level of pigmentation and they blend it out well, but something happened right in here that I'm, but it's only on this eye. Again, you'll see it when I get up close. I am now gonna pick up this little It Cosmetics brush for Ulta. It was like the starry night, starry sky, something. Um, and I'm actually going to go into the black, which is called Infinity. And we're going to walk that across the bottom lash line. Keeping it pretty close. Again, I'm not worried about blending or anything just yet. That is a nice black. Even just kind of going in with a light hand, I'm liking it. Yeah, I just think that either my lid is just really dry right here, or I didn't put the primer on in the proper way right there. I'm going to jump into this little Firma 204, and I'm going to go back into Infatuated. I think I'm going to mix it with Wishful. And come right under the black, meeting where I left up at the top, just so we have a really pretty gradient. And again, I'm kind of just staying in this little pocket. And let's pull it up some. Yeah, it's got it's got to be the primer or just my lid because over here everything looks it looks great. I'm gonna go into this little pencil brush. This is a BH Cosmetics 11 from their little Dion collection. And I'm gonna go back into the white. And just so I can try to feather this out so it doesn't look so crazy and harsh, I'm gonna put this down and kind of feather it up together. Again, it's not doing it on this side, so I'm not ruling the palette out just yet. And I will test it again, and I will use my MAC Paint Pot. I, I mean, I traditionally kind of always have pretty good luck using that. Okay, I like it overall. And then we're going to hop into the Qveen, I guess. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Queen. I don't know. I'll read it on the paper, of course. Um, I'm going to go in with the liner, and let's test this out. 
with a liner upon first application i am looking for ease of use is it gliding holy crap yes it is um is it gliding easily or is it tugging on my waterline does it look nice and black and so far so good i like it we will see how it wears i will leave a pinned comment for you guys oh wow yeah this reminds me for sure of like i said the silkacene one um and the aracelli one that's beautiful i'm going to test this i'll just do a little line y'all know i don't use liquid liner all the time i do really like the component it has a nice weight to it as well i typically will prime whatever i'm using whoa that is very black i have high hopes for this y'all so i'm just gonna do a little line it is kind of thicker the actual applicator than i usually like oh shit <laughs> okay well we're gonna have a massive black line it glides really well oh that is very black let's see if it dries down matte all right yeah that looks really really nice okay um i'm gonna read all of our adits we have the Violet Voss All of You Forever Eyeshadow Palette. Again, was expecting it to be more green-based. This palette was designed with universally flattering olives and hues that complement one another flawlessly. I can agree with that. It is packed with the most luxe formulas from creamy mattes, mesmerizing metallics, and impactful fools. Achieve endless eyeshadow looks from a modern, soft, sultry, to a seductive olive smoky eye that will have them green with envy. That is $34. So right there we have the price of the box plus. The Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner and Alcohol Free, that's great, 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans your pores, and controls oils without overstripping the skin. Ideal for combination, oily, or acne prone skin. Aww. I think I'm still going to try it. I love toners. Um, and that is $28. For some reason, I thought that that would be worth way more than that. Next up was the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. A multi-purpose, all-in-one, broad-spectrum sunscreen, moisturizer, primer, and foundation with SPF of 20. That is part of an effortless beauty routine for an ultra-natural-looking complexion. And that is $35. I'm talking a lot of claims. We're going to test this out. Um, if you guys want to see just this by itself, um, let me know and I'll do a, a dedicated video for that. The Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Balm, I hopefully I'm saying that right, Glow Lip Mask. Boost your hydration and glow with this protective lip mask formulated with shea butter, apricot, plus jojoba and rosehip oils that work synergistically to keep lips chat-free, soothed, and plumped all at once. I agree. It feels, it feels wonderful on the lips. Um, it is made with green apple and pineapple extracts to help rid lips of unsightly dead skin cells and fine lines. And it is $25. I feel like that's a little high for a lip product, but I also spend like $16 on my Jouer one. So I'm used to spending a little bit more. If it works, I'm fine with that. The QVine Studio Dragon Duo. Modern day Boss Babe approved. With an inky black pigmentation and a semi-waterproof formula, Choose your look using the Dragon Duo. Use Dragon Liner Liquid for a smudge-proof symmetrical wings or the Dragon Liner Pencil for a soft look or a smoky eye. Created for beginners, I, can, I agree with that, and love by pros, and that is $28. So $14 for each, I feel like that is more than fair. Um, overall, I really, really like this box. I am going to pop on just a quick coat of mascara. I'm going to get out my teeny tiny little boxy pop-up haul from last month. And I will be RB. All right, beauties, I am back. I really like this look a whole, whole lot. I went in with my Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer Palette. I didn't put any blush on. And I just went in with my Wonder Beauty Highlight as well. I was already wearing my Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. My Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion, Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation in Medium. I set with my e.l.f. Halo Glow. Then I have on my Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil with my little new NYX, the fill, the new NYX Lift and Snatch little brow pen. I really, really like this, you guys. 
Um, so that was what's on my face. Really quickly, we'll do recap. We got our Pharmacy Deep Sweep Toner. We got our Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. We got our two liners, a liquid liner and a standard one. Both work beautifully. We got our Violet Voss, I Love You Forever. It's so cute, so cute. I just wish it was green. <laughs> then the Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask by Seraphine. I will say I went back in because I noticed when I first took it out, remember I was like, it's kind of slippy, not as thick as I'm used to. Um, I think that's just because the oils were kind of settled on top. But you guys, it is super, super thick. And as you can see, I do feel like it has a plumping effect. And it has like the slightest little pink tinge of color when you do put it on. So I like this. I'm going to put it on my bedside. Excuse my hair. I don't know what she's doing. Um, so I got in my finally boxy pop-up order from last month, of course. And I really quickly tell you what I did get. Boxy pop-up. If you do receive any of the boxy charm subscription boxes, you can go into the boxy pop-up and shop for higher end luxe type of makeup and beauty items. They have hair items, clothing items sometimes, um, and everything is up to 70% off. I think it's a fantastic way to go and repurchase or purchase things that you've gotten in your previous boxes that you're really loving. So speaking of really loving, one of my favorite sponges I've ever used. I got two sets of the little hip dot sponge. It has a regular sponge and a little itty bitty baby one. So I got two sets. Um, I just like them. They're super soft, but then also have a really good texture to them. So I really have been enjoying the one that I got in my box. I also got the Alamar Cosmetics Petal Primero Primer. <laughs> but first primer. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, so I'm going to test this out as well. See how I like it. Again, everything is up to 70% off. So very, very inexpensive. I was so jealous when everybody got this, but I got it for myself from the Boxy Pop-Up. It's the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer with Kombucha Glow Moisturizer. It brightens, nourishes, and hydrates. Does this sound like a Riri product or what? I'm very intrigued and very excited to have this. Next up, I got another. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this brow pencil. It is the Real Her I Am Strong Definer Brow Pencil. I think I got I Am Inspiring before, so I hope this one works, but inexpensive, so still happy to have it. Next up is a Crown Brushes All Eyes on You five-piece luxe brush set. Spit it out, Riri. Um, and I will show you what it looks like. I do love Crown Brushes. We've gotten quite a few, of course, in subscription boxes. Next up, I got not one, but two, because I like the other one so damn much, but it is the Milk Makeup, the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Um, I've had the shade Dub, but I went ahead and got Dutch. Hopefully it works, but I don't know. I got two of them. I really, really like this product a lot, you guys. And then, a few months back, we got a Clarence Velvet Lip Perfector in this beautiful, deep raspberry shade, and I went absolutely batshit crazy over it. And then I found out that they had a nude one, and it's been in my little cart for a long time. And I was actually going to purchase it from either Ulta or Sephora. But they had them in the pop-up, so I got two. And it is the shade Velvet Nude, the Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector. You guys, when I say this is one of the most beautiful, most comfortable feeling, lightweight feeling lip products I've ever used, it is fantastic. So many of you even raved about the one that we got previously. Um, I know I already have something on, but it does have this beautiful kind of little cushiony little tip here. And then, and then you push it up and prime it. I don't want to get too much. And then you can see it start to come out and I will swatch it on my hand for you guys. Um, it literally feels like velvet, like it says. Um, it lasts all day. And then the beautiful thing about it, first and foremost, it feels incredibly light. I don't feel like it settles. Again, I'm a mature beauty. I don't feel like it settles into fine lines. I don't feel like it, you know, makes everything look more exaggerated than it already is having, you know, more mature skin. Um, and as it fades away, it still leaves this beautiful little cast, almost like a tint left onto the lips. Um, it is, it's gorgeous. And I would have happily, and I was going to, I would have happily paid the $26, I think is how much it costs. Um, would have happily paid that for it. Oh, you got, oh, it's literally almost like my lips were better. So when I saw it in the boxy pop-up, I had to have it. <laughs> I really like this lip oil too. Good night. That is nice. Oh, that is beautiful. That's lovely. I'm so happy to have this. So, so happy to have this. So I'm so sorry. I know this is probably my longest boxy charm video ever in the history of 
ever. Um, but I wanted to just be a little bit more thorough, especially since I'm not going to be doing very many unboxings on my channel anymore. Um, I do have the continuation of my collection and declutter coming very, very soon. Bear with me. Mama had to take a little break after Dorismas, okay? It was kicking my Doris ass. Um, clothing hauls coming, a lingerie slash intimates haul coming, um, per request from a lot of folks. So, Lots of exciting things coming. If there's anything you guys want to see, a particular palette that you've seen me unbox or that I have, um, whatever the case may be, please leave your comments. I'm always open to suggestions for video ideas. Um, we'll get up close and personal and then I'll bid you guys adieu. So that is it, beauties. That was my very first boxy charm of 2021, and I am going to predict it right now. It's going to be my favorite box of the year. Absolutely love it. Absolutely nailed. Fantastic box. I will update you guys, or if you'd like to see a full-on kind of review, not just a first impression, a review, wear test, all that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, but that is it. Thank you, beauties, so, so much. I love you. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.